March in Michigan, the time where cold winter melts away to welcome in spring's new beginning. It's the time of year where people harvest one of Mother Nature's sweetest treasures. Kind of get separated in your groves. Come on, let's do some organization. We're the, you know, we're the top of the food chain here. Come on, let's go. This is a life skill, okay? You gotta do this, you know, and say you've participated in life. This is John McInnes uh, got to talking with me and said, hey, we ought to do some maple syrup out there. You got maple trees, don't you? And I said, yeah, we got maple trees. First year, we had five or six folks that were interested in it. Now we're up to about 50 people that come out for our volunteer tree tapping work day. Pull the trigger and then pull out. There you go, just like that. That's it. Good job. You got the hammer, uh, mallet. Oh, that'll work. <laughs> you know what? Do not do what I just started to do. Just because I'm getting old. I'm gonna pull the sap out of there. We all hooked up. Ready to go? Okay. Before we had the, the tubing system, I mean, we had buckets all over this place, and it was uh, a lot more backbreaking work, especially when we had the five gallon buckets. Remember those, John? <laughs> yeah. I tell you, if you start carrying two five gallon buckets up a hill, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a lot of work. a sample of sap and it looks just like water. We are taking the sap and pumping it from this tank up to the upper tank. From the upper tank it'll flow into the evaporator. And the evaporation process concentrates the sugar. It goes from 2% sugar in the, from the tree to 67% sugar is, is now considered syrup. This is a steam away. Comes in here and takes a lot of the water right out of it. Takes 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon of syrup. Comes down here, comes across. Each, each one, it's more done. The more sugar it gets in it, the harder it'll boil and it'll burn quick. That's why we sit right here and watch that cage. <laughs> That's floating, so that is syrup. Well, I'm informed that Norb is ready to bottle. So let's go do her. We're pretty much governed by what they can do out there in the uh, sugar shack. And it takes them all day and maybe even a day and a half to produce what we can put into bottles in a couple hours. They are, they're doing a good job today. After 13 years, the volunteers still get themselves into sticky situations. So, whoa. Whoa. Didn't quite catch it in time. So, whoa. Wow. <laughs> this is about our most disastrous <laughs> bottling that we've ever done. A lot of the syrup that we manufacture goes uh, as a gift to everybody who's involved in making the maple syrup. And then I sell some to the general public. The Tollgate volunteers spent countless hours working to fill over 500 bottles of maple syrup. But as it's often said, it's never truly work when you enjoy it. Oh, that'd be way cool.